Hobby Kids TV. Hi guys, you're with Hobby Sis. Today on Hobby Kids TV. We are building an eyeball. This thing is really cool. It's five and a half inches tall. It has 35 pieces. And we're going to see what all the parts are of an eyeball. This is for ages eight and up. Let's look at the back of the box. It says it's like a puzzle. It has so many pieces. So we get to learn what all the pieces are and what they do. Let's open up the box. Whoa, here's all the pieces. Oh good, this shows us how to put all the pieces together so that we can make our eyeball. And that must be what it looks like when you're done. And there's some other ones you can collect. The human body with organs, and then this is the skull and the heart. This white part of your eye that you can see from your eyelids is called the sclera. The sclera is tough material and it covers most of your eyeball. It's kind of like the outer coat. These are the blood vessels and they deliver blood to the sclera. Here's my eye. You can see the white part is the sclera and the blood vessels that keep my eye healthy. The biggest part of your eye sits behind the lens and is called the vitreous body. This is filled with a clear jelly-like material called the vitreous humor. In a real eye, after light passes through the lens, it shines right through the vitreous humor to the back of the eye, to the retina. The iris is the colorful part of the eye. When we say someone has blue eyes, we really mean the person has blue irises. You can tell that I wear contact lenses because there's a little tint of blue around my iris. You can see that my iris is green and brown, which is called hazel. In front of the iris is the cornea. It's a clear dome that sits in front of your iris and it helps the eye focus and the light can go through. Here you can almost see my cornea. It just is clear and sticks out from the rest of my eye. This is the lens. The lens is a very important part of the eye and it sits right behind your iris. Then the muscle that surrounds the lens is called the ciliary muscle. The ciliary muscle is all of the red muscle that sits around the edges of the lens. When you try to focus on something, the ciliary muscle is what helps you to focus. We forgot to put in our vitreous body. It goes right here on top of your lens. Don't wanna forget that, it's an important part. This is quite the puzzle. Then you can see in the back of the ciliary muscle is this thing, this is the optic nerve. This is so important. This is the great messenger that goes to your brain. It carries all of the images that you see in your eye to your brain. When you see something out of your eye, like a cat, an apple, or a bicycle, then it takes the message to the brain. Now let's put on the sclera again on the back of the eye. There's the optic nerve. I don't think I forgot any parts. There's a lot of parts though. This little guy is the lacrimal gland, and this makes tears. Every time you blink, you let out a little bit of tears so that your eyes stay moist. This goes on our sclera, and then all these muscles hold our eye so that we can turn our eye and see different ways. So let's get these put on. You can tell that there's muscles I can use to move my eye around. We use the rod, I guess, to hold this all together at the very bottom. That's why it's like such a big puzzle. Here's where the optic nerve comes out and reports back to the brain. It's like the telephone that sends the message to your brain about what you're seeing. You can tell that the black part in the middle, that's the pupil, and that's what lets light in and out of the eye. My pupil is tiny because there's so much light. Here's Hobby Max eye. He has brown irises and his pupils are small too. I bet if we turned the lights off and then turned it back on, his pupils would get bigger. Should we try it? Watch the black part or pupil of Hobby Max eye. As he opens his eye wider, the pupil gets smaller to let in less light. Always wear eye protection when you're playing sports that could injure your eye. And wear sunglasses because too much light could damage your eye. Here's a fun experiment. Have two pencils. Hold them sideways in each hand, and with one eye closed, try to touch the erasers together. It's hard, isn't it? Now, try with both eyes open. Oh, that's much easier. Two eyes gives you better depth perception, so you don't miss. 
Here's a video question. Do you remember what the lacrimal gland does on the top of the eye? If you do, leave it in the comments. The eye is about the size of a golf ball. You can also express yourself using your eyes. Look at those eyebrows. Those keep a lot of dirt out of his eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you had fun learning about the eyeball, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to Hobby Kids TV.